Hey, what's up guys? It's Redox here. Welcome back to another Command & Conquer Rivals video. And today, I'm gonna broadcast for you guys some Tiberium League matches. Following this player named BH Man, you can see um, there's two matches in a row uh, that from, from BH Man here, and he's used the same army composition. Um, if you look at BH Man's units, he's actually brought in three Tech Lab units. The Juggernaut, which is the artillery unit, uh, and it hits against all ground units. And the Kodiak Battleship, which hit, which is a flying air unit that hits ground units. And the Wolverine, which is an anti-infantry, anti-air unit. And can actually do a lot of damage to vehicles um, if they are bunched up together. So, BH Man has three Tech Lab units. Which is a very interesting UH, uh, unit composition. That's why I wanted to broadcast this players replayers replays um, the other thing is I haven't actually watched these matches yet so I'm actually very excited to see what's gonna happen I thought it would be better if I do a blind commentary today and um, you know it'd be more exciting for me because I don't actually know what's going on in the game and you guys wouldn't really know what's going on either so let's go ahead and watch the first first match it's BH man versus neutrino neutrino has a very standard army composition he has one tech lab unit the sandstorm but let's go watch uh watch the first first match here so it's gonna be bh man versus neutrino and i'm very excited to see how bh man pulls off this three tech lab unit composition because they're very expensive to build um it's very expensive to build tech lab units as well and uh you know the higher league you rank up to the players get better and better and it works out usually better to use cheaper units than tech lab units normally it's even hard to pull off one tech lab unit um, but seeing that his army bh man's focus is really the tech lab units uh, let's see how he does it so he's got two rhinos which are really controlling the field right now the uh, missile launchers and the riflemen can't do much to it. And the one pit bull comes out, but the predator tank will easily eat that up. And they're just trying to kind of control the early to mid game right now. Very standard opening. No one's being too really aggressive here. Um, lots of missile launchers. Now he's going for the top. Neutrino's going for the beach man's harvesters, but the rhino should take care of that while Dr. Liang's healing drones are helping out with some of the healing here. And uh, right now, Beach Man looks like he's in a pretty good position because that Predator is not gonna go down easily. That's for sure, especially with the healing drone. Dr. Liang's healing drone can do a lot of healing. And uh, there's actually the double harvester coming out from Beach Man as he's got his opponent tied up on the top. His opponent doesn't think that there's actually a double harvester going on right now, of course, because most players won't expect this double harvester strategy, especially in a Tiber Tiberium League uh, game, because like I like we all know, double harvesters um, it is a very it's a very hard um, build to go for when you go for double harvesters because you have to protect your harvesters and go for the launch pad at the same time. So you can see Beach Man is now suffering quite a bit. He's suffering quite a bit right now. The rocket jumpers, the pit bulls. Now they've spotted the double harvesters. It's looking pretty bad for Beach Man. Beach Man doesn't even have a tech lab up yet. Now he's got a tech lab, and there goes the first Wolverine. But that's two harvesters going now. And that's gonna hurt his tech lab technology. But he's immediately sending out two double harvesters. Um, now the thing is. Even though Beach Man is really behind here and he's lost double harvesters, giving his opponent a lot of Tiberium uh, crystals. Because he has a tech lab up now and he's got the two double harvesters going for it, he can actually pull off these very, um, very expensive, well, not very expensive, but very much more stronger units like the Wolverine. Wolverine is going to be stronger than standard War Factory or Barrack units. And there's a Sandstorm right there trying to. Um, pick off his units but there's one juggernaut right there and that just destroys demolishes these sandstorms that is epic guys wow but i think it actually took out one of his uh wolverine right there but he's got two juggernaut artilleries 
just bombarding his enemy. They're going to destroy anything on the ground. Um, but the only problem is BH Man can lose this game if he does not secure this missile. So he's moving his harvesters. Yeah, he unfortunately lost this game. That is quite unfortunate. But we got to see some amazing juggernaut artillery action. That was a really, I guess, a nice try from BH Man. But this is why double harvester is so hard to pull off. And, um, uh, I mean, that was a, that was a really nice effort from BH Man. And we got to see some nice artillery action from Juggernaut. Juggernauts are very powerful against ground units, but they're so expensive to build. And if you're behind, you're really going to suffer, like how he did in that match. So that was, um, you can see BH Man actually shares a lot of his replays. There's another one right here from Mazumka. Uh, but we're going to go back to the top and then the, where was that match? Yeah, Neutrino. Oh, okay, so BH Man's, that's, that's interesting. Um, I guess we'll just watch another match. There, there was like two matches of uh, himself playing. Did I miss? I might have scrolled up too high. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I did. Okay. So that was the first match we just saw. That was Neutrino taking the victory from BH Man. Um, that double harvester, is, you know, trick is really hard to pull off. Uh, but we'll take a look at this next match. It's BH Man versus GTR Joe. And he's using the Nod faction. And it's a very standard Nod army, as you can see from GTR Joe. That's a very standard um, Nod army. Even I use myself a lot. It's very effective, cheap units. And um, we'll see how this match goes. Now, GTR Joe, once again, just like in the first first match, is really going to pressure Beach Man here. Beach Man is actually going to go for a Predator. Wow. And I know the reason why he's doing this, because... He knows that his opponent's either going to go for Excite Bikes to go for the uh, Harvester kill. That's a very standard opening from Nod. Nod's, Nod factions will uh, usually go for an Excite Bike to try to go for the Harvesters. Um, or you can also build a Predator tank to go for the enemy Harvester yourself. And it looks like they might end up trading Harvesters, but... GTR Joe had the Harvester up earlier, so he, he got his laser squads fast enough, but I think the Predator tank will take out this Harvester. So it's going to be a trade-off, maybe, but the Excite Bike was already damaged, so BH Man actually came out on top here. Wow, that was very nice from BH Man. I actually did not expect that. I, I was thinking GTR Joe had this unlocked. You know, his laser squads were going to do enough. And these rhinos are going to take care of these laser squads, no problem. Um, the level is higher on the rhino, so the rhino will easily defeat the laser squad. And it's getting some healing from Dr. Liang's drone as well. So he should be fine here. The Excite Bike is going to do uh, more damage on the rhino, but Dr. Liang's drones do a lot of healing. So we'll see what happens. But right now, BH Man has a pretty good economy going for him. He killed the enemy Harvester while GTR Joe failed to kill the Harvester. So he, did, he never got any Tiberian gas. And wow, there we go. We see that Kodiak battleship from BH Man. Beautiful. I actually never saw Kodiak battleships in action. This is my first game. Usually the first missile goes to your opponent. Oh, and, and GTR Joe goes for the Banshees which counter the Kodiak, because Kodiak does not do any anti-air damage. And that Kodiak is going to be easily defeated here, but he's just going to rush in for that um, Harvester kill, and that's a lot of damage. Looks like it's three Kodiak hits, and the Harvester would go down. And uh, he's going for Predators, and he's going for Wolverines. I think Joe has a feeling that his opponent has double Harvesters, and he does, yes. Because when you pump out a Tech Lab unit that quick, um usually means that your opponent has a pretty effective economy going on and uh, he's he's uh, moving up his drones up north now he's really got to secure the second launch pad for sure or he will lose the game so this is a problem with the double harvester tech lab strategy is that your units are so expensive you will always almost lose that first launch pad so you'll your base will always get hit first so you really need to secure that second uh, launch pad or you'll end up losing the game and um, BH Man is doing a really good job at taking down his opponent's harvesters. And that Kodiak battleship 
it is ab absolutely beautiful, but um, it doesn't do a lot of damage against infantry. As you can see on the top, it's doing almost nothing to the um, enemy flame troopers. The Hammerhead will take care of the Banshees, while the Kodiak will take care of the ground units. I love this unit composition he's got, but ooh, he almost lost that missile there. That was very, very close to BH Man losing. And there goes a Juggernaut. That is absolutely beautiful, guys. You never see matches like this, almost, ever, especially in high rank matches. You're not going to see two Kodiaks and a Juggernaut going hand in hand. And at this point, I think GTR Joe is just too behind. So he's actually going to send out his Seth, Seth's uh, Hero Power Flame Trooper to attack BH Man's base. So BH Man, he really needs to go for his enemy base. Because those Flame Troopers do a lot of damage to the base. So he's, he sends out one Wolverine to take care of that, which is good. And his Kodiak battleships are just hammering Joe's base now. And the Juggernaut, everything is rushing to Joe's base. And at this point, Joe is just way too far behind to catch up. That was a beautiful game, guys. I think this second game definitely sums up um, the power of some of these Tech Lab units. If you can hold up, if you can hold up to the late game and you can push your enemy, you can defend your harvesters, you can um, hold that launch pad and not lose the game, you will win. It shows that tech lab units are viable, but they're just very difficult to use uh, because if your opponent is very good at micromanaging and he's very good, very lucky, or if he's even just a little bit lucky in the early to mid game and he puts you behind, he can absolutely just destroy your double harvester strategy, which goes into tech lab. I know a lot of, um, a lot of people think that double harvester strategy is a terrible strategy, but it is being used by a lot of players for a good reason. Because if you can hold up and your opponent does nothing, if your opponent decides to not harass your harvesters, if he decides to just sit back and defend those launch pads with weaker units, and you can go into those tech lab units into the late game, you will win. You have a better chance of winning just because tech lab units, if they are, um, if you have units that are, uh, you know, protecting each other or units that are helping each other, you know, when it comes to dealing with air or ground unit units, as you saw the Kodiak and the Juggernaut were really working hand in hand to destroy air and ground units together. Oh, actually, he had to also bring out the Hammerheads as well to deal, deal with the air units. Yeah, Kodiaks and Juggernauts, they only do ground damage. But as you saw, BH Man was able to pull through this game. But the first game, he couldn't because Neutrino was just... He was just too good in that early game, micromanaging his uh, units very well. Constantly, um, he was able to get to his enemy's base, kill the harvesters. You see, shutting down this tech lab strategy is to go for the enemy harvesters or go for a quick launch pad rush. Make sure you hold those launch pads as soon as you can, but you really want to hurt your enemy's economy if you really want to stop a tech lab strategy that BH Man is using. So anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. This was These um, were very interesting replays shared by Beach Man. Thanks for sharing these replays. I absolutely enjoyed watching these. I hope you guys enjoyed watching these replays as well. I'll come back with more uh, videos for you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.